Anyway. Oh. Is it dead? Oh. It, it. There we go. <laughs> Cleaning house. Killing some zombies. Um, actually, you know what? I might as well make some money off of this. Spring cleaning. There we go. Alright, I just accepted a task to kill even more mutants around here. And we have something dead over here on the PDA. What's going on, guys? Playing some soccer gamma. You know what it is. UNISG part 10. Simply rolling through this playthrough. I appreciate all of you guys that are watching all these episodes. I've decided I'm going to do something a little bit risky today. A little crazy. What am I hearing? Oh. Oh, what the heck was that? I I think that might be a chimera. What the fuck? It's a pseudo giant. Oh god. Dude, oh, what the fuck? This is not how I wanted to start the day. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna use a Yodelin. Much as this is gonna suck, but my head and torso are messed up. Oh, I'm dizzy. Okay. Uh, put the grenade away. I'm making myself nervous here. Kind of fumbled there. Started just clicking buttons. This is way too much dizziness. Uh, let's take... You can actually take glucose shots for a pretty good dizziness removal. Oh god. Okay, so we have a pseudo giant in Dead City. That's that's not good. We, we gotta take care of that before we do anything. Um, but I do want to go to Lemansk, and I want to do the mission that we picked up for there. We need to capture some enemy documents, probably monolith documents, and we need to bring them back here to Dushman. And if we do that, hopefully that should pay us pretty good, because it's kind of a tough mission. Oh, I just picked up a, uh, a hide. Is this better than the, the one I got? It is! This gives me 4% ballistic resistance, 14% stamina recovery, and 5.8 kg carry weight. That is much better. Uh, let's unequip that and equip that one. There we go. Now we hold 84 kg. My stamina should be a bit stronger, and that ballistic resistance helps a lot. I think that the ballistic resistance adds to my arms and legs, so maybe with this I'll stop getting my legs torn apart all the time. A pseudo giant. Although they're not the hardest things to deal with, they just, they take so much ammo. Um, so I don't know, I got 86 HP, about 100 rounds if I count what's in my magazine. Okay. The other problem is I have to be able to loot this thing, so I can't let the mercenaries kill it. I'm gonna actually go around this building and attack it from the other side just so I don't draw it toward these guys. Uh, the reason I have to kill it is because if I loot the thing and I get a pseudo giant hand, it's actually a mission that I picked up in like episode one for the uh, technician. He wants a pseudo giant hand. Don't know why, but I, I'm going to go try to get one for him <laughs> because he probably gives me a pretty decent reward for that because this isn't exactly the easiest thing to do. It's going to be kind of sketch fighting this thing out in the open like this. Okay. We're just gonna unload on it and uh, get some space from them. I hope these are all hitting. They think I think they are. It's starting to move away now. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, where the hell did that nade go? What the fuck? He's wounded. Okay, we got him. We got him, boys. We we got him. Just a few more. Oh my god, die. Fucking... Please die? What? Am I out of... Okay, I'm using FMJ now. Eat that. Please kill him. Please kill him. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so we just pumped this thing full of a hundred rounds of HP. And that still wasn't enough. Oh, and he has one! <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's so good to see. 
And you can tell it's the thing I need because it has a little mission marker on it. Thanks to the UI improvements mod. Damn, that, that was honestly so perfect it seemed scripted. But I can assure you, it was not. <laughs> Let me take a look at the PDA here. There's like blue dots all over the place. Uh, we also have more mutants to kill. But I guess if I just use the shotgun, we can take care of this. Go ahead and finish this mission up before we head back. Cannot believe that pseudo giant was actually part of the mission I just picked up, which was to kill, you know, clear the mutants out of the of dead city. So I don't know if it spawned because of that mission or if because I accepted that mission, it marked the pseudo giant. It could have already been there. I'm not 100 percent sure on the dynamic of how those missions kind of work. I don't know if it spawns in enemies or if it just marks the existing ones. Dude, my stamina is insane. Like, I'm not overweight or anything, but like I've just been booking it and Whoa. Uh, sounds like a... Wait. Is that a bloodsucker? Bro. Bro. It's invisible. That's gotta be a bloodsucker. Oh my god, you can see the grass moving where he is. I don't like this. He's coming. These guys don't know what's going on. They're not gonna help. <laughs> Bro, I, I cannot hit this thing. Oh, there we go. I got a solid shot on it. Hit it. Hit it. Okay, it's got to be like close to dead. What the hell? Dude, this thing is leading me on a goose chase. How much ammo do I have? Plenty. Okay. Why won't it show itself? This is a bloodsucker, isn't it? That's the only thing that goes invisible. Oh? Did it just... <laughs> Dude, I just saw like chunks of it fly out from behind the building. <laughs> he ran into an anomaly. Amazing. Nice, got some meds off of that. Dude, look at that, there's literally hands. Whatever this part of it is. Yeah, it got absolutely obliterated. I have to assume it was just a bloodsucker. Just in broad daylight. That was messed up. What kind of mission was that? A pseudo giant, a bloodsucker? Oh wait, and it's not even over, is it? No, it's not. Oh my God, there's more. And I don't like how far away this last one is because I won't have the assistance of my mercs. The mercenaries will not be able to help me with this one. What is that? Um, I still have the sniper, by the way. Is that a thing? What am I seeing right there? That might be an artifact. It is an artifact. Oh yeah, 100%. Very good. Okay. Let's try and grab this thing. Ah. Uh, oh my god, give me the damn thing. I got it. Get me out. Oh. Okay. Are we good? Armor, armor's good? Okay. We're fine. Oh. Ah. Uh. That was a mercenary, I'm assuming. Is he going to kill these mutants too? Oh yeah, okay. Let's get him, dude. Oh my god. There we go, don't worry, I got it. Fuck! What? Oh! He's not a mercenary! He's throwing a grenade! Please, no, please, please, no, please, please! No, stop! Oh! Who the fuck is this guy? He's a psychopath. It's a duty member. Are you dead? He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh my god. What? What is going on today? What has happened to my precious dead city? This place is not safe, man. And I got shot in the head, so uh, that hurt. A little bit dizzy now. He's an SR2M with some decent parts. Uh, in a, in a garage with a recoil spring and whatever the hell the- whoa! Whoa! This is actually good! Let's auto- let's auto loot and uh... I'm gonna grab this thing since I don't have anything on me right now. That guy almost killed me. I don't want to burn another med and since we don't have anything else to kill out here, I'm just gonna head back and get healed up at the campfire, but... Um, oh geez, I don't want to go this way. Let's go around. I'm pretty sure if I go to Doucheman, I can have him trade this suit out for an armor type of the exact same quality. So like the same armor, but it would be for the mercenary faction. 
I don't know 100% sure, so before I say something that's not true, let's go find out. Um, oh, and we need to turn in this pseudo-giant hand. I can't believe I got this. Uh, talk to you. Job's done. Holy hell, he gave me 20 grit! <laughs> that was so worth it. Uh, okay. And he gave me stash coordinates in the army warehouse. Thank you. That might even be- that might be a green stash. Hang on, let's look. Uh, no, he didn't. Okay. Uh, wait, what do we got here? Killing me- there's more mutants outside? Bro. You're- you're joking me. How are there more mutants? And that thing is moving fast. This is crazy. I also just got tired. It's gonna get dark soon. Sun's starting to go down. Let's figure out what is... Oh my god, this thing moves fast. Uh... Okay. Whatever it was, it just died. Bro, the anomalies are taking care of business for me. What the fuck was that thing? That looks like a canine rib cage. That might have literally been a chimera. I don't know for sure, but yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised. Granted, you know, given what we just had to deal with, that mission has to be done now. Please tell me it's done. Nope. Dude, what? Dude. Oh. Okay. Oh my God, there's two of them. Okay. Oh God. Oh, don't die, dude. Move out of the way. I got it. Bro, what is going on? There's so many mutants here. <laughs> okay, there's some kind of mutant down here at the end of the road. This has to be the last one. This is like the fourth or fifth mutant group that he wants me to take care of. Well, I've never... I can't believe how long this is taking. Usually there's like three, maybe. Flesh? Oh, God. That's so nice. Okay. I'll take care of flesh any day. Why did they just shoot me out? Okay, secure base. That had to be the last one. Let's see. Oh my god, you're joking me. There's more mutants. Is this a never-ending mission? This has to end. And he has to pay me eventually. By the way, I have 115 grand. It's behind that bush. Oh my god. Is that another pseudo-giant? Dude, what? That's another pseudo-giant. Yeah, okay. Um, alright. Change of plans. I'm gonna go buy out the Merc base of all the HP ammo, high powered ammo. I think that's what it stands for. It does more damage to flesh enemies, i.e. mutants. I also picked up a, uh, is more so a test for me. This guy right here, Danko Stunt, he wanted five military faction patches. And I know I should be saving my patches for the lottery for Aslan, but I only have eight of these. So I figured what's five? when I don't even have that many as it is. So I'm kind of just curious to see what I get for five military patches. He gave me an artifact and stash coordinates in Yontar. Okay, cool. I mean, that's that's okay, I guess. Mission updated secure base. What, why, what just happened? What is it aggroed on me now? Why is it moving? Why is it coming here? Bro, it is, okay. I don't know, I'm getting a little freaking scared, dude. It's getting dark really fast. I'm gonna go drop these artifacts off. Who knew Dead City could be such an insane place? I thought it was just gonna be like a normal day. I was gonna head out to Lemansk and uh, do some missions, but oh my God. The zone had other plans for me. All right, hopefully Doucheman has some ammo or else I don't know how we're gonna deal with this pseudo giant. APH, he only has 75. Let's buy all of it, six grand. We're gonna definitely use all of this. All right, we're good, we're good. We're just a little bit tired. Let's go try to kill this pseudo giant. We have a few nades. So that, that could help. Uh, just to be safe, I'm gonna light a fire and regain some health. All right, while I'm regening a bit, figured I'd tell you guys I, I'm recording this video before the last video is releasing. And it made me realize like how much your guys' comments and things actually direct the like path of these <laughs> videos. Um, another lurker. Holy hell. Bro, I have never seen so many mutant spawns in my life. And what happened to the pseudo giant, by the way? Because that, it just updated my mission. You're not fooling anybody. Alright. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways. But yeah, I was realizing 
when I started recording today, I was like, I don't like I usually look at you, all of your guys' comments and that kind of directs the video, the next following video, which I thought was pretty cool. And I don't know if you guys realize it. So I figured I'd let you know. A lot of you guys give tips and ideas and it, it really, you know, sparks the the story a little for me to a kind of a direction to go. So this is all uh, without your guys' comments. <laughs> the, the story's kind of writing itself with how many mutants are showing up. Bro, there is still... Hold on, I'm now... I'm starting to realize what's going on here. It just says, Aslan asked me to clear all the mutants in the area near our base. So I think what's happening here is that every single mutant that's in I'm Dead City man. has to go. <laughs> And I don't know how quickly they are respawning, but I'm starting to wonder if this mission will ever end. I still have to kill a pseudo giant. But hopefully this is the last thing that I need to kill. Two pseudo giants in one day? Like this is a lot, even even for me. And the shenanigans I get up to, I usually don't deal with this many mutants, man. It's very close to me. There it is. Oh boy. Okay. He might be a little angry. Oh my, oh. Uh, and the reason I jump, by the way, is if you're just standing on the ground when he does that ground slam, it seems to do a lot more damage to you. Okay, he's starting to run off now. No, he's not. Grenade, 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 grenade. Oh. Oh my god. Cool. He doesn't seem to want to follow me too far. Oh my god. Oh, he's limping. Alright, we got him. Um, before I use the rest of that ammo, let's reload the shotgun and see if we can't take him out with that. Because Buckshot is a lot easier to get. Cool. There we go. Oh, okay. We got two secure the base updates there. He had two hands. Okay. Please tell me that was it. I think that was it. Yes, we can go back now and turn it in. Holy hell. We just killed so many mutants, bro. All right, let's go talk to Aslan. Let's see what the psycho is going to give me for what I just did. This, If this is anything shy of like 15 grand, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. Like, I'm not sure he knew what he was asking me to do with that. All right, Aslan. What in the actual hell was that? Job's done. Eight grand? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. Well, uh, yeah, a little disappointing, but hey, at least we killed all the mutants. I had no idea so many were grouping up. Maybe it's because I haven't done that mission in so long that like it gets harder. I don't know. I'm just speculating at this point. Um, regardless, though, yeah, we have 120,000 rubles. This is this is actually a lot of money for Gamma, but we're, we're going to go ahead and sleep because I'm tired and it's getting dark and uh, we'll pick up in the morning, figure out a plan for the day. Okay, we are good. Uh-oh. What the hell? Do you guys hear that? Those were like mil- they were calming. Oh. Actually destroyed that thing. <laughs> Let's uh, loot this guy. Dude, he absolutely tumbled. Whoa. Ah. Okay, I didn't shoot you, did I? No, I think he's good. He was a little bit downrange there. So many dead things. Uh, we have a, another snork here. I'm gonna try not to poison myself, but I'd really like to loot ah. this dude. Ow. Ah, get me out of that. Okay, we're good. Uh, we have another one. Ah. Oh, no. It's, it's Gorg shortstop. <laughs> All right, well, mercenary died. That's unfortunate. Holy shit, he has a T-36 with a perfect barrel. <gasps> Do you guys know what this means? This is huge. Because we can buy 5.56 five, ammo at the duty bait or at the uh, mercenary base. Poor mercenary. He deserved better, but hey, we will take good care of his T-36. I have never actually used one of these. Huh, yeah, iron sights aren't too good, but we can definitely throw a scope on it. Are you kidding me? What now? Who's that? No way. Oh my god, there's... There's Monolith. Bro, I... 
Am I gonna spend the whole day just defending this place? Like, what the fuck? This is bonkers. Um, these monoliths need to go, because they will actually kill mercenaries. They are pretty damn good at combat. Oh, I don't know where they went. Oh boy, dude, I don't know where these monolith went. They were booking it. I'm gonna loot their kill. I can't. Never mind. Oh, found him. He's not dead. Whoa! How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Holy shit. I'm bleeding. Uh, let's fix that. Ugh. A master monolith. Why was he so beefy? I think we're good to loot this guy. He had a grenade. That's good. I need that. There we go. And he had like a, almost a grand on him. Monolith are usually packing some money, which is good. If you kill a lot of them, you can make quite a bit. So yeah, we're just going to head back. Everything's fine. We got a gun to work on now and possibly armor. We'll see what we can do. Okay, we got the bolt carrier. We got the bolt. We need a trigger and a gas system. Yeah, we are two parts away from having a working G36. We need a, a NATO gas system and a three mod trigger. We can take the three mod trigger off the AEK. We have no, so we would be one part away. Well, all right, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and store it. So something that was interesting, the, the mission to give Hog the pseudo giant hand was a mission that was given to me by Dushman. Since I completed that, now wants me to talk to Dushman again. So I'm gonna see what he wants. He has a job for me. He has a, a certain faction has moved in on our area that our client would prefer they not be. They need to be removed. He must go alone. They are prepared for a large assault, but they will not be expecting a lone infiltrator. Sneak into their camp and eliminate them. So we have a group of free stalkers located in the army warehouse west of the Southern Hill. New mission commando raid. <laughs> okay. Given that the mission I just did before this paid me 20 grand, this might be very worth doing. And we also have a couple of stashes. Uh, this stash right here, I'm not going to be able to grab because I can't exactly go into the army warehouse, the freedom base. Holy shit, we have a green stash in uh, Yantar. Oh, dude, it's so close to the ecologist base, but I think I should probably try to grab that. Because uh, just the chance for tools, you know. So we actually have a couple of things that we need to do that take priority over going to Lemansk. Because I feel like going to Lemansk is a bit of a suicide mission. So I'm thinking we go to Army Warehouse, we take out the loner targets that are out here. We come back and then we get this stash. Because this green stash could give us who knows what. Could give us gunsmithing tools, another set of basic tools, which wouldn't be bad, honestly. We've spent a lot more time in Dead City than I planned to today. But my god, the amount of mutants, bro, <laughs> that was insane. Every single day in this zone is so different than the last. It's so crazy. Most games, that you, you figure out the mechanics after a little while, and then you, uh, you know, you kind of know what to expect it becomes predictable and then you know it loses you lose interest in it but this yeah not this game not stalker <laughs> not to mention the sheer amount of mod packs you can get for this to change the experience and i've only touched the surface honestly with uh, a little bit of gamma and a little bit of efp there's a many many more now let's go into army warehouse and get to work all right here we are over at the Merc camp, look at all these boys they're always just like <laughs> walking over whoa that dude's got a ghillie suit that's sick bro Oh, we got two missions here. Commando raid and eliminate target are both right here. Stealthily infiltrate the camp. Why does that sound so badass? I'm not sure how stealthy we're going to be. Oh, you know what I should have done? You know what? I can edit it out. I'm going to go back. I got to do something. I just had the greatest idea ever. The word stealthily just triggered me. I have to I have to do this now. Suppressor adapter for Mauser 98K Forester. Almost eight grand. Good thing we're rich. Apply. Now Ooh. that's more like it. <laughs> okay. Suppressor four Mauser 98k Forester. Another 5600. Ooh. All right. That was that was so expensive, bro. Oh my god. That is so clean, dude. That looks awesome. All right. That cost me like almost 13 grand, but you can't deny how awesome it is. Like that. That's so worth. Nice. It's actually a really clear, pretty like good weather for uh, doing a little bit of sniping all right uh we do have a stash here just a gray stash in the bloodsucker village so let's go ahead and grab that on our way through 
Um, it's actually on like the far end, so let's go this way. Oh, what is that? Just a dog? Okay. Uh, should we test it out? Hold on. Yeah, I know you guys are just as eager as I am to hear what this sounds like. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes, that was awesome. Uh, somehow that freedom member just spotted me though. Freedom member watched a UNI shoot a dog in army warehouse. How did he see that? Where, where, where could he be? How would he know? I don't feel like that should be a thing. If I'm using a suppressor, nobody should know when I shoot a dog. Okay, where is this stash? Oh my God, it's like in the dead center of this place. That's actually horrible. Okay, let's sneak right in. I don't think any of the... the oh, there's another dog. Oh, he's coming. Got him. Oh God. Somebody just shot. Was that at me? Very well could have been. Let's grab this stash and get out of here. This is not, not a good place to be fighting in. Where's the stash? Where's it at? Oh, Jesus. Don't come this way. Is it in here? Oh my god, it's literally in the porta potty. Uh, okay, cool. We'll take all that. Let's move. I do not like taking fights inside Bloodsucker. Village, yo! Whoa! Ah. Uh, that wasn't the guy that was shooting, but we're going to take him out to freedom. <laughs> Dropped. <laughs> that was amazing. Who was shooting at me, though? Oh, God. Yo. Yo. Ow. There you are. Oh, I missed. You son of a bitch. Hit him. There we go. Splattered. Uh, let's bandage up. That guy got me good. Fuck! There's more. Oh, they're right behind me. Oh, God, that hurt. <laughs> There's one. Okay, I just domed him? Did the suppressor make this thing do more damage, or is that just me? Uh, my arm and leg is busted, so... Let's use ibuprofen. Burning through a lot of meds today, but I get a little more confident when I have 88,000 rubles. See, I'm not too afraid to burn some resources because I can just buy more, you know? We will run through that money very quickly if we're not careful. Uh, so it looks like our target bounty has moved over to this checkpoint, and we still have the camp that we need to infiltrate. What did you have? AK-74M with a decent bolt, a little bit of ammo, and some parts. Let's take all that. Let's assemble this. Take those crafting components. What do you have? Oh, this is the 45 variant of my pistol. Grabbing that. Yeah, no, this thing is nuts. A USP match. See, I have the USP match tactical 9mm. This is the USP match 45. And a 45 caliber gun is preferred over 9mm, at least for me. I'm going to actually attempt to do this stealthily, though I don't think I will be able to. <laughs> Worth a try, though. Uh... Okay, here's the freedom guy. Nice, a 9 mil AUG. Oh, this actually has the NATO part that I need for the uh, the G36. And then some other stuff. Nice, let's take all that. Sweet, all we need is the, uh, we actually could get that G36 working because I can, if you remember, I could take the trigger mechanism out of my AEK. If we get out with all this, we can officially have a 5.56, which is gonna be a huge game changer for us because we can buy ammo for it. Uh, Kevlar plates. Duct tape and 5.56. Five, nice. All right, let's try and take out this dude first. He's just at the end of this road somewhere over there. So we'll try and get high, get a vantage point on him, maybe up on this hill. Oh, we got a freedom member way down there. Oh, is that him? Artyom. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Dropped him. Is he alone? He might have actually been alone. Is the freedom... Alerted? They have no idea. Okay. And that's how you stealthily eliminate a contract right there. Right, so that's done. Okay, we have another guy marked down the road a bit. Um, don't see anyone in the actual camp itself. Alright, yeah, there's a guy right down the hill from me. Oh, he saw me. Alright, eat shit. <laughs> I think that missed. Oh my god, I can't see him. All right, uh, plan B, <laughs> fall back to solid cover. 
Oh, Jesus. He's throwing nades. Alright, dude. Where are you? Ow! Okay. Did I miss? I think I missed him. Yo, that hurt so bad. Oh my god. He's behind the bush. Oh, he's down. One more for good measure. There we go. Jeez, that dude spotted me instantly. That's crazy. Uh, commando raid updated. Was that it? Commando raid turn in. Uh, eliminate target turn in. Nice. We see. Uh, we actually did two missions there. Uh, there's a dead mercenary here. He's got another USP match tactical. A little bit of 5.56 ammo. Never hurt nobody though. We'll take it. All right, that's it for our missions in Army Warehouse. Let's get back into Dead City and let's turn in these missions. And then uh, we have a green stash to grab that is dangerously close to the scientific base in Yontar. But I think it, no matter the threat, it's definitely worth getting a green stash. Oh, fuck me. Okay, it's just a poltergeist. Oh, if I just stand still. Okay, he lost me. Uh, yeah, a little trick you can do with poltergeists. If, uh, if you walk slowly... They lose you. Oh. Come on. Okay, we're moving. Oh, come on, just die. There we go. Jeez. If they're out in the open like that, they're not too hard to handle. Although he just... Dude, my limbs. <laughs> Jeez. Now we're getting beat up. What I was saying, one of the coolest tricks you can do in this game, though, is if you walk slow, the keybind is X, I think. I don't know what it is by default, but for me, it's X. Um, it's the button you use to uh, do a low crouch, but it also, if you hit it while walking, you'll, you'll do a slow walk. And as long as you're moving that slow, or not moving at all, the poltergeist will not be able to track you and aggro on you. They'll kind of leave you alone, so you can sneak by them by doing that. It's really useful, especially if you're indoors. All right, let's talk to Doucheman. This was somehow like a main quest. Job's done. 11k. There we go. Almost 12. Awesome. New mission. Meet with Hog. All right. Thank you. Sweet. Uh, let's talk to Hog then. Come to see you. Pseudo dog tail. Zero in my inventory. Zero in nearby stashes. Pseudo dog tail for Hog. That'll be pretty easy to do. So these seem like they kind of work the same as main missions, but they're still like side quests. I think they're just like main side quests, and I'm pretty sure they continue for a long time. They get really repeated, I think. All right. Let's turn this one in. 7,000 for the elimination target. Very good. Thank you very much. Somebody is shooting outside. What is going on? Oh. I hear an exosuit walking around. Oh. Okay, it's... 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 It's Gorg? Warrior? Who did you just kill, dude? What's going on? Nice gun, by the way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Man, it's just out here cleaning house. Hey, you know, somebody's got to do it. All right, let's get this uh, G36 working, shall we? Let's grab that. Let's grab the ammo, and then we'll have to take the part off of my AEK. So let's field strip that, remove trigger mechanism. Let's throw these parts on it. Boom. Bang. Done. Check it out. G36K in working condition. That mercenary's out there killing something else, but that's cool. Let's grab my rifle cleaning kit. So we can start fixing this thing up. Kerosene gives a huge, huge bonus. Look at that, 15 points of repair. All right, we're good to go. Got ourselves a new gun. I hear somebody dying again. There's three more blue dots on the map. Who, this dude's just like on a rampage out here. I feel like it's mutants. We got a little bit of HP for this 5.56. Yo, you good, homie? Oh, okay, you got it. Why are you out here killing all of the zombies? What is wrong with you? You must have picked up that mission from Aslan, killing all the mutants in Dead City. <laughs> Good luck, bro. All right, we need to get some more ammo for this gun here uh, before we can like use it well. It's pretty sick though, I gotta say. Oh my goodness. Yo, he has an M203 launcher. It's eight grand. Whoa, <laughs> that would be kind of sick. Uh, he also has a Spectre DR sight, an Elcan. These are really freaking nice. Yeah, they cost 20 grand. I'd love to have it, but I can't spend that much. He has a ton of sight options here. I might buy one of these because I honestly, I really don't 
like this one. I want something with a little bit more zoom if that's possible. Let's just see. He does have an ACOG. It's 11 grand for an ACOG. Fucking hell. Well, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Uh, 1600 for FMJ. That's not bad considering it's a 556. Let's just buy all of it. Or 100 of it. How about that? Now nah, we'll buy all of it. Fuck it. 13 grand. There we go. We got ourselves a new gun. That ACOG is clean. It doesn't have a zoom functionality on it, but that's about, that's what I wanted. It's a little bit of zoom, not too much. Wait, does it have a... What? <laughs> okay, apparently the ACOG comes with a canted iron sight, or a canted red dot sight, so that's fucking amazing. Let's go, dude. Um, I might retire the sniper. I would get rid of the shotgun, but I'm not going to get rid of the shotgun until I have a 45, because I, I really need something that can deal with mutants easily. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> the exosuit dude needs a chocolate protein bar. Honestly, we should help him out. We'll give him one of those. Man's been out here killing zombies all day, just grinding. Needs himself a little snack. Hey, listen, bro, we, we got you. Here you go. Nice. He gave me a grand and some stash coordinates in Yontar. Sweet. Let's go and grab these stashes before we wrap up today. This video is, I already know, getting a little bit to that point, you know, but let's find out what we get in the green stash. It could be, could be tools, could be basic tools, could be gunsmithing tools, and that would honestly just make my day. No matter what it is, we, we can definitely use it. So let's, uh, oh God, hold on. I should probably do something about my, my health situation here. Drink some sparkling water, get rid of a little bit of that dizziness. Yeah, we should be good. Um, I'm about to go to the wrong place, aren't I? Yep. Oh my God. I really gotta stop doing that. Or oh, this laser sight works really well. That's nice. Man, what a friggin' day we've had already. Just to top it off though, we might get something really good in this green stash. Hopefully, man, hopefully gunsmithing tools. It's honestly what I want more than anything. All right, first stash is right up here at this drainage pipe, and then the second stash is at the next drainage pipe, but this one is so close to this science base, man. I really can't afford to take on everybody at the base. So I'm gonna have to do my best to try and not get spotted. Um, but if all goes wrong, and I, oh God, there's a fracture. Um, if I do get spotted, I'm probably just gonna try to swoop the stash and then run. I have to go all the way over there, and it's, oh, it's just right next to the base. You can already see some guys in there let me load in some hp i kind of want to deal with this fracture because if these things get a hold of you they are one of the most dangerous mutants like they used to not be too bad but they're pretty bad now okay he's down oh okay there's a snork down there too Okay, he's down. Nice. All right, let's load our FMJ in. All right, really can't be too careful. Let's push down. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? What? Who saw me? Oh my God, here they come. There's one. Dude. I can't, oh, they just keep coming. They're just pouring out of that base. Whoa, the hell was that? Oh God. Oh God, this is not good guys. Oh, you're not sneaky, bud. There we go. I'm so glad I spent 11 grand on this scope. I don't see this guy. Oh my god, that's a beefy one. Really need to take this guy out. Oh, okay, got tagged there. Just stop it. Oh, he's running. Let's reload. 
Oh, fuck. Eat shit and die, please. Dead. There's another exosuit somewhere. Oh god, where is this guy? Oh. Are they getting close? Ah! Uh. Ow. Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna heal before I get shot anymore. My torso is gone. Don't know what happens if it gets blacked out. I don't know if that kills me instantly or what, but it might. He's dead. Holy shit. That was Hatch. Hatchet, I mean. He's, uh, he's kind of a slightly important guy, I think. Dude, did I kill them all? No way. I shot about half of my ammo. Oh, I got another one somewhere. One's close. He's dead. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god! Jesus! Fucking heck! Bro! Alright, we still have another guy shooting at me. Whoa. Dude, this guy has got to be, like, really far. It's because the time from his gunshot to the bullet impact sound, he's, like, lobbing bullets at me. Yeah. I ain't scared of him. Uh, I really need to take Yodelin and get my torso fixed, because if that gets blacked out, uh, it might insta-kill me. I haven't quite figured out exactly how that works, but I feel like that is what happens. Uh, so let's take this. It's gonna make me super dizzy once again. Let's take a glucose shot. Remove dizziness and get some of that satiety back. I'm gonna just chill here until I sober up and we'll see if this guy pushes. This might be one of the most, like, action-y videos we've had in this series. Killed a ton of things in Dead City. We killed a bunch of guys in Army Warehouse and now we're clearing out Yontar, which I did not plan on doing anytime soon. Shit. I hear footsteps. Oop. Oh my god. There's more than one. Oh god, no. Not like this. He's throwing an aid. No. Woo. Okay. Where you at? Did he kill himself? No. Uh. God, Jesus. Scared the shit out of me. You can't win this fight. I've killed everyone. Ow. Okay. Is he down? Nope. There we go. Jeez, dude. That was the clear sky, dude. Although I thought I heard another voice. Man, I'm glad I healed my torso because, yeah, he just chunked it again. That probably would have been enough to kill me. Uh, let's... Damn, I hate to do it, but I think I'm going to use another bandage and another Yodelin. Do I have anything else that heals? Okay, whatever. Let's just heal the uh, the torso again. All right, well, that was it. We just slaughtered Yontar. That's freaking nuts. Um, let's grab this stash. We got a sandstone artifact. Killing stalkers or mutants infuses you with great power. The buffs last for five seconds. It increases your damage taken. Gives you movement speed, health gen. Recovers a random body part. If you get five kills with it, you're just like buffed to the max. It's crazy. Uh, 11 rounds for my sniper back home. Interesting. We're gonna take all that. Oh god, what? No, 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 no. Oh god, not the grenades, dude. Ah. Dude, there's another guy. F off. Okay, I knew I heard another voice earlier. There's a lot more people in Yontar than I thought. Oh. <laughs> okay, we just domed him. We are the absolute menace of Yontar. The Butcher of Yontar is our new name. Okay, we should be good to loot now. Surely that's all of them, right? Like, come on. All this just to get a green stash. You guys could have just let me have it. Yo, how sick does this guy look? Holy shit. Holy shit. 
Yo, that's an FN P90, dude. We can buy 5.7 ammo. We're taking that. And we just got a double, I and mean, we just got a trigger for the 45 pistol. So there's that too. That's the last part we needed. Holy shit, this is like a huge day for us. Imagine if we get gunsmithing tools now. Uh, let's auto loot this guy. He didn't have anything special. What about you? Oh, SA-58 is a monster of a gun. Um, I'm actually gonna not grab this though. Yeah, we're gonna leave the SA-58. It would be really nice to have, but I'm just not gonna be able to get that thing working anytime soon. What about this guy? Oh, nice, another uh, morphine ampule. These are so good. They give you 15% resistance to all damage for 1500 seconds. It's kind of nuts. It's really great to pop one of those if you're about to go like do a lab or something. We killed so many. Uh, I'm not even sure how these guys got alerted to me in the first place, to be honest. Uh, I think this right here is the exosuit guy. Yep, here's Hatchet. Let's see what he had. Well, I'm getting radiated. I gotta loot quick. A uh, couple of decent guns, a bison. Okay, we are just gotta auto loot that and get out of here. Holy shit, the radiate. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Mobile science lab discovered. Uh, I mean, it should be safe here, right? Hold on, let's smoke. I mean, I think we're good here. There's still a scientist in the base. I don't know if the technician is... These guys that are left might be passive, honestly. Mm, okay, nothing too crazy. All right, what do we got? Okay, let's go grab the stash. Was that all the bodies? I think it was. I could actually use this as an opportunity to loot this place, because I don't think they'll attack, but we'll see. Let's go check the green stash. The reason I came here after all, let's see. Hopefully, something juicy. Here it is. Oh my God. No way. Yo. Oh, yo, <laughs> okay. I did not expect to get advanced tools this early in the playthrough. This is amazing. And a KS-23, which is one of the best shotguns in the game. It does 300 damage. So yeah, let's take that. Let's take the rest of that. Holy shit, dudes. That is so huge. Oh my, I can't even believe that. Advanced tools are insane. Um, now I can make medium repair kits. I can repair armor. I can make army rifle kits so I can repair all of my guns. Uh, I can build better equipment, a better backpack, PDA, scanner, night vision. That just unlocked like the entire mid tier progression. So we are officially done with the low end stuff. Holy shit, that's awesome, bro. You guys won't attack me, will you? I don't think these guys will attack me. Yeah, like this dude doesn't even have a gun. Yeah, okay, I think we're fine. I'm gonna be a little cautious, but I think we're fine. I'm just gonna walk around and grab all the free loot I can from these guys, because I don't think I'll be able to, like once everyone respawns, it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass to get over here again. All right, we've uh, looted around here. That's pretty much everything. Broken flashlight, so nine mil, there we go. So I guess here's where I could talk to Sakharov, uh, spend some of my money, and maybe try to get the Psy Helmet, but I'm pretty sure I, I'll get a Psy Helmet from UNISG. So I think I'm just gonna continue with them before I do that. Well, that was an unexpected dub. Holy shit, that could not have went much better at all, to be honest. Like every single aspect of that, the fight itself, the loot I just found, that was perfect. Let's go back to Dead City. Um, I have a lot to do now that I have those tools. All right, is now the next day. I went back to base, stored all my things. This is crazy. Okay, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just look in the workshop and just see what I can craft already. So let's go to, yes. Okay, so I can make these medium kits. I need some glue tubes, some field armor kits, and some basic sewing kits, which I can buy from the technicians. Uh, army rifles, I just need some gun oil. We can even make heavy armor repair kits. I th did not realize this. Yeah, so if you get enough mediums built, you can build a heavy. If we grind a lot, we can make a lot of really good armor. But the easier way to make heavies is just to have expert tools. So we might wait for that. Uh, let's go ahead and make the better backpack. No sense in waiting on that. Uh, and then we just need to stock up on Dura mil specs and basic sewing threads to get the even better one. There we go. Look at that carry weight, 91. That is a huge improvement. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just buy all of this stuff because I know I'm going to need it pretty soon. There we go. Medium armor repair kit. Craft. Oh, we can craft more than one. <laughs> We'll craft one for now. Honestly, maybe we should craft two. No, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just craft one. Let's go ahead and take this SIVA suit and get it fixed up. So we have all the parts we need for this suit, but it's not enough to like repair it well. We're gonna go ahead and 
do what we can though. It'll be much better than it was. It put it at 59%. Um, it's a bit of an L because it is not far from being repaired just normally, but I really don't want to grind these replacement parts because those took me a while to find. So we're gonna take a use off of the actual repair kit itself. And now we can try and get this thing up higher. There, it puts it at 80. Okay, there we go, puts it at 95. Dude, let's go. We now have a fully functioning SIVA suit. Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of upgrades we can do on it. We can add an attachment module. Let's definitely do that. Uh, we can also add some rupture resistance. So let's do that. And some ballistic resistance, there we go. Holy shit. We just got so much stuff done today. It's actually crazy. Um, I'm gonna go third person for the reveal of this new suit. Let me get out in the sunlight here. Okay, let's throw it on. Nice. Dude, I dig it. That looks cool. That looks really cool. Nice uh, earth tones and shit. And it has two attachment module slots. So you can throw on this lurker hide. I'm fairly certain I had that boar pelt somewhere. Let me find that and put it on here as well. There we go. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, th this is awesome. This is the probably the most productive day we've had uh, in the zone so far. I only scratched the surface of what all I can do with these advanced tools. There's a lot more, but just for starters, we got some new armor, a new backpack. This thing is a lot better than what I had in almost every way. We still need guns with tools so we can fix our ammo situation. This video is insanely long. I realize that now. It's almost, uh, yeah, it's probably like an hour long, but that's okay. There's just too much cool shit that happened, and uh, I didn't want to split it up into multiple parts. And now there's something else I still want to do today before we wrap up here. Okay, I have a choice to make here. I got, oh, nice. That rain looks sick. I, I, I got two pistols, two 45s. One of these is getting repaired. All right, so we have the USP match. This is a 45. Same, same gun I have, but higher caliber. Really nice sights on it. I am digging that. Uh, and then we also have the tried and true, one of my favorite guns ever, FNX 45 tactical. Oh, and it's got the suppressor on it. The red dot looks a little odd. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. It's green. One of these is getting repaired. I can only do one because I only have one trigger. You know what? I'm going to let you guys decide. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. This is an extremely long one. Ton of stuff happened. We got so much done, dude. It's so cool. If you did make it to the end, I really appreciate it. Comment down below which of these pistols you'd rather see. Whichever pistol name I see more of, I will, uh, that's the one I'll repair for next episode. They both look pretty badass. They're both going to be essentially the same as far as, uh, functionality. So yeah, you guys be the judge. I'll let you decide. Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been an absolute blast playing some Stalker today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you, uh, you know, if you're enjoying it and you want to see some more. We just got our advanced tools, which means we are advancing in the zone. We got a lot of stuff to do next episode, and I cannot wait to get back into it. So subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for the support lately. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. We're getting very, very close each day. Thank you so much for that. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.